My field is U.S. history. Uh, I mostly do Cold War history. It was almost a, a mistake or serendipity. I met a, a great teacher, Ariel, Arielli was his name, and he sort of turned me on to American history. I would probably choose Pakistan for the simple reason is that it's one of the most chaotic, sad and dangerous places on earth. It is wracked by many, many divisions and it's a nuclear power. It's a tremendously scary place. Recently, I had quite a memorable event. It was also somewhat of an embarrassing event. I noticed a group of uh, young people on the beach very early in the morning collecting garbage, and then they started to run. I followed them, and I noticed that they had shirts from the University of Haifa. These were cadets, the naval cadets, who study here at the university. I started running after them to present myself, and by the time I reached them, I was so out of breath that I looked like some kook who had just come up on the beach and grabbed hold of them. And it was a little embarrassing, but it was also very exciting to see our students doing such wonderful civic work. Many years ago, 1968, I came third in 200 meters backstroke in the Israeli National Championships. Uh, my enthusiasm was somewhat dampened by the fact that there were only three participants in that race. Well, I love running, or at least I run because I have to, but mostly I like complaining about my kids. That's my favorite pastime. I miss mostly my family, my grandchildren, and just living in a city like Haifa, which is so beautiful, I had almost forgotten. People who I grew up with, um, people who are part of my life for many, many years, I think I miss them more than anything else. I love going to beach with my grandchildren. They love it, I love it. It's a great pastime. You can do it almost the whole year. You know, that's a difficult choice. I would say any movie by the Coen brothers, probably Fargo, it's a level of violence with insight into human nature that I find very rare in a movie. His Harvest by Neil Young, nothing even competes with it. Anybody tied to the University of Haifa has to read The Liberating Bride by A.B. Yoshua. It's a wonderful book set in the university and you get insight into the relationship between Jews and Arabs and the very special type of human landscape that you find at the university through reading this book. The University of Haifa is first and foremost my home. I'm always glad to return home. I think the university 10 years down the road will be a very different university. In addition to fields like social science and humanities, we'll have strong science, but we'll also probably be a multi-campus university. We're in a wonderful location, but we need to spread out and this place cannot grow anymore. Let's take advantage of the university. We offer a, a wide gamut of subjects here. Don't enclose yourself into a box. Take advantage of the variety of subjects that we study here at the university, that we research at the university. You'll be so much of a better person once you leave our campus if you do that. In addition, no matter what you do here at the university, no matter what you do at life, remember what President Obama said in one memorable event. Don't do stupid shit. I'm not sure that's the right way to end, but whatever. <laughs>